It wasn't until I got to Barcelona that I realized that Barcelona is a city. I mean, of course it's a city. But what didn't really register in my mind was that, unlike my hometown, population well under 100,000 people, Barcelona is a city. The kind of bustling metropolis that's home to several major sports franchises, dozens of multinational businesses, once host to an Olympic Games, home of 4 million permanent residents, and roughly 9 million tourists per year. Yeah, Barcelona's one of those cities. Honestly, I thought the crowds were just exhausting. I loved all the individuals that I interacted with, but to try to exist every day among all these people was just beyond what I was comfortable with. It happened to be that one of my courses during my semester abroad was an introductory photography class. I took my camera with me everywhere and probably looked a lot like a tourist. The problem was, the shots that I wanted to take were full of subjects that I hadn't intended to capture. The symmetrical glow of the magic fountain at night was covered by people. The famous drac at Park Güell was surrounded by people. This majestic view of Montserrat, there's a person sleeping there in the foreground. This crowded city made me feel socially anxious, and my crowded photos made me feel like I was a bad photographer. These negative feelings made it really hard to be at peace in the city that I so wanted to love. My photography professors challenged us to capture stories that our photos of Barcelona hadn't told yet. I began to wonder, what would it be like if Barcelona were empty, slow, calm? If all of the people, all of the chaos was just gone, what would be left of my host city? I challenged myself to capture the most crowded areas of Barcelona from a human-free angle. I knew I'd need to do that creatively, so I woke up in the dark of morning and made my sleepy way to the port for sunrise over the Mediterranean. Then I worked right through the heart of the tourist district before the tourists and vendors awoke. As I watched the sun rise over rows and rows of sailboats, a woman let her dog loose, and I snapped a serendipitous shot of him surveying the harbor. From there, I walked inland, past the Statue of Columbus, and towards the sidewalk restaurants of La Rambla, where I found the vestiges of a forgotten midnight snack and the empty echoes of what should have been the busiest walkway in Barcelona. I reveled in the notion that this calm, silent space could even exist among the chaos of this massive city. I was also surprised that, while my photos without people had this really nice haunting feeling, they were sort of lonely in how still they were. I realized that Barcelona wasn't Barcelona without the millions of Catalans and Spaniards who bring their lives to the city. On my next photography outing, I found a balance. Quiet moments in crowded places, like this couple talking in the Parque de la Ciutadella. Comfortable, natural moments like this one helped me feel better about my photos, and more importantly, about my experience in the city. I began to feel that I could find peace in crowds of people. In finding these moments, I grew to feel at peace and eventually at home in Barcelona.